Hey, what's up guys? Andrea here from uh, AMake Design and today I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to buy a Prusa Mini clone from China. Are you with me? So this is the order confirmation for my original Prusa machine. So the unit price is uh, 379 euros and uh, and if you add the uh, if you add uh, the shipping cost is uh, 393 euros. So this is what it cost me to buy the original printer. So I'm going to keep tabs of how much money it takes to get this kit up to something meaningful. And also I will also keep track of how much time it will take me to get to the same uh, level as my original machine. And if I reckon, I think it took me anything from 30 minutes to one hour from box to print. I guess this is going to be much uh, more fun because uh, the kit is going to probably uh, come in a bag of uh, loose parts and I will also have to print my own stuff. I will also uh, keep uh, track of uh, how much time and money it will cost to print the parts. So let's get our hands into it. And here we are on AliExpress. So this is the Fiset, Fisec, Fistec, Fisetch, whatever, uh, whatever store. So the Fisetch uh, brand is a quite known uh, knockoff brand of uh, different uh, uh, 3D printing supplies. And uh, here they are sponsoring a Prusa Mini. Now let me take the video, the audio out. So it looks like. It's a decent quality knockoff, maybe <laughs> we will find out. And there is, um, yeah, everything looks like there's a Minda sensor. Ah, the connector here looks a bit crappy, and the power, the heatsink here. I don't know what to think about that. There is also a silicon sock. Who knows what we're going to face next? So let us check it out. Uh, this surface here looks like it might be photoshopped. I don't know. So let's see what we are up to with this stupid idea. So yeah, a few things here. So they offer a mean well power supply. So I guess they will also supply it with some crappy Chinese brand and then it is the 3.2 inches so they also have a large screen so it looks like it's in stock only for the normal power supply so let's see what does this mean in terms of cost blah blah blah, blah a lot of blah blah and then the final product does not include prints <laughs> this is so stupid so the final product does not include prints so there is no printed parts here and there is a link to Thingiverse on how to print those, which yeah, it's also stupid because they are public on, on GitHub, so I don't know. So the first thing is that this is of course not completely true because this is not what you're going to get. So you're going to get a bunch of parts, which if we read the list is screws, stuff, bearings, shafts, belts, electronics, motors, control board, thermistor out hand, bed, whatever, LCD, PSU, Minda fans, so everything except the printed parts. So that's a first point to view, so it would be strange um, to buy one of these because then if you are kind of new to 3D printing and you don't have access to another 3D printer, you're basically screwed, you will get a bunch of parts which are then useless for you. So let's see if they also supply the printed parts somewhere. Here they come. So it looks like they also supply the printed parts and they're quite cheap the way you see it. Still, I'm not going to buy them because they come from China. So this will take forever to reach me. So I think my original Prusa Mini is going to have a baby, probably Frankenstein baby. Oh, just let check that. So it looks like 3D printed material printed parts, they are made of PLA, so they're not going to be PETG. So to make this realistic, because I want to understand if uh, if you're new to 3D printing and you buy this stuff, so you might end up with uh, this. So I want to see what happens to print this in PLA. 
and that's it so let's configure this and see what happens so if we take it from spain because i'm in europe so um if you buy from spain you don't have uh, customs duties and other stuff like that so that is what i would like to avoid to have so i can have a 3.2 inches normal power eu plug of course or i can have the regular one i want to compare it side by side with my uh, original prusa printers so i think i'm going for the 2.8 inches and i'm going for the mean well because as stupid as i might be i'm not going to burn my house down uh, for this so that's it guys so this is what youtubers are willing to do for you this kind of sacrifices so making something something stupid for the community i don't have very high expectations on this kit but uh, i'm really willing to buy it so Let's see what happens if I add this to the cart. So here is my cart. I'm looks like I have a few coupons here because this is some kind of uh, uh, sales week in on AliExpress. So let's see what is going to be the final price. So the final price is 200 bucks, 200 euros, which is roughly half of what I have spent on my original Prusa machine. That's the time of truth. Our click. Bye. So here we are. I made my stupid thing. So the order is placed. I bought it from Spain. So it can take any time to come because yeah, if you look at the site, they say end of September. I would say that's probably the usual uh, shipping time from China. But in this case, uh, the machine comes from Spain or. <laughs> call it machine it's actually a bunch of loose parts so they will come from spain eventually so this will help me in uh, getting my hands on it uh, sooner in the meanwhile i will put my uh, original prusa uh, machine ironically into printing its own evil twin so if uh, you want to know how this uh, uh, quest is going to end uh, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, also get notifications uh, that will be fun uh, and i hope you're going to be with me until the end of this journey and uh, that's it for today so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you uh, uh, like my sacrifice uh, for the 3d printing community and until next time